Session number 13, Impressions and Pouring of Impressions. We will be making maxillary and mandibular PVS impressions of your typodont with edentulous spaces in the 5 and 20 areas. Insert the following teeth, number 4, 6, 19 and 21. Make sure that 19 has orthodontic bands You will cut those with a pair of scissors and we will use that as a retraction cord so that we can retract the soft tissue or the shroud that we have in our teeth. Use a plastic instrument and put that in between the teeth and the soft tissue. And slowly start with one end and put that retraction cord or our rubber bands in between the soft tissue and the tooth. As you will be going around, you have to push hard. And as you can see, we're going into the interproximal aspect, always making sure that our finish line is visible. This will make our impression much easier. Once you have finished doing that with all teeth, make sure that the finish line can properly be visualized in and so that that ma impression material doesn't flow in make sure it's seating properly. We will practice the seating of that impression tray and then we'll start to apply the VPS tray adhesive. Pour some of that tray adhesive in a dappen dish, use a cotton tip applicator and apply that in all surface areas of the impression tray. Once you have done that, you have to wait approximately five minutes until the VPS tray adhesive is dry. We will be using Aquasil Monoface and we will be using two consistencies. One will be light bodied and the other one will be medium bodied. Make sure you know which one you're using. When you load the cartridge into a gun you can lift that lever and in the back there's a release button that you will have to push so that you can push the plunger in and out. Align the notch of your cartridge with the corresponding notch of the gun and lock that in place. Now you can push the button and push the plunger all the way in. We have to bleed the cartridge first so we will slowly squeeze a little bit until both the catalyst and the base come out on the same time. For the light body we will be using a Kerr free flow syringe and as you can see it has a, a plunger as well. We will remove the tip and make sure when you remove the tip that you cut off the tip with a pair of scissors so that you have enough material flowing through. Working in pairs, have one person load the impression tray with the monoface impression material while the other person injects the aquacil around the preparations. Begin by placing the tip of the impression gun interproximally with the tip in contact with the tooth and close proximity to the margin. Cover the entire axle surfaces. Do not lift the tip of the tooth and do not stop the injection. Once you have that, place the loaded tray over the teeth and seat it. Hold the tray until set. We will be pouring up the impression. Once you have evaluated your impression, we will use the bubbleizer to break the surface tension of the impression material. Make sure you remove the excess. You can also use a syringe or some air to blow off the excess. We will be using jade stone to pour this impression. We will use 70 gram packets that will be mixed with 15.5 ml of water.
we will pour first the water in and then the content of the two jade stone packets. We'll be using the vacuum mixer. As you can see, we'll vacuum mix that exactly for 20 seconds. We'll also be using a bench vibrator and make sure that you adjust the vibrator to the correct amount of vibration. Use a very small amount of the jade stone and place it close to the prepared teeth. Let the stone flow slowly into the prepared teeth, making sure that you don't have any voids or bubbles. Once you have covered the prepared teeth, you don't have to be as careful and you can go slightly faster. Make sure you have enough as for a base. Once you have if you're not patient, you might fracture one of the prepared teeth that you already have done. Once you have that, make sure you evaluate that impression and make sure you don't have any voids.